This is just a very quick demonstration of the OBS Ghost Script plugin for OBS Studio, which allows you to render PDF documents and other document formats and, uh, handled by Ghost Script, including EPS, uh, PostScript, maybe a couple others that I don't know about, mostly just PDF, and render those documents into your OBS scenes as video sources. It also allows you to interact with your PDF document real time and change the page current displayed page on it. Uh, not too much to say about it. It's a very simple plugin. Uh, to get it, you just want to go into the forum area on obsproject.com, uh, go into the resources area, and find it in the list here. Uh, right now, it's on the front page of the list here. It may drop down later, and you may have to search a little more. But if you're looking for OBS Ghost Script 1.1 currently. Uh, open that up, just go to the download site on GitHub, uh, go to the Releases tab, and open the latest release here. Uh, currently, it's only available for Windows because I don't have build environment set up for Mac or Linux. I don't know of any reason other platforms wouldn't work if you got the source code, but I have not tried it myself. Uh, once you have it downloaded, uh, just open the zip file. The folder structure here matches what's used in the OBS installation folder, which is usually C program files x86 OBS Studio. Uh, all you need to do is select the folders in here, uh, drop them into the OBS Studio installation folder. In my case, they're already there, so I have to re replace them. Uh, you will also have to provide administrator permissions to write to the program files folder. Uh, once that's installed, uh, the way plugins are generally structured, including this one, in the data folder, you have the OBS plugins area. Each plugin has its own folder in here. This is the one for OBS Ghost Script. All it has is localization strings. Uh, and the binaries are under OBS plugins, either 32 bit or 64 bit, depending on which version of OBS Studio you run. In this case, you'll see the OBS Ghost Script DLL file here, as well as the Ghost Script DLL, gs32.dll. Same thing in the 64 bit folder. You'll find gsdll64.dll, as well as OBS Ghost Script.dll. Uh, with that done, just open up OBS Studio here. And I'll demonstrate quickly. This is an empty demo scene. I'm just going to add a source here. The name of the source is PDF document ghost script. Select that, create it like any other source. It's currently empty because I haven't actually loaded a PDF document. If I browse for one, say this one, uh, there's your PDF document. Uh, one way you can interact with this is OBS supports interact windows on some sources. If you open that up, it will bring up your PDF in a separate window. Uh, you can move this around, scale it up and down if you want to have it separate from your actual OBS instance. Uh, with this open, you can use the mouse wheel to scroll. You can use the arrow keys or the page up and down buttons. Uh, another thing you can do, uh, if you go to Settings in OBS Studio and Hotkeys, you will find a list of bindable hotkeys for all the sources in your scene, including the PDF document one here. Uh, the previous page and next page are the hotkeys you care about. If you just go in here and hit a key combination, say Shift Up, Shift Down for these things, and save your settings. Then while OBS is active, you can use these hotkeys real time without having to open your interaction window. Either way works depending on what is most useful for your setup. And that is really all there is to say about this. It's a very simple plugin, should be pretty straightforward to use. Uh, it may hitch a little bit if you try to load a PDF document that's too big. It doesn't render it or decompress it on a separate thread or anything. 
So be a little bit aware of your CPU usage if you care. But for the most part, I haven't seen any problems in my setup, and I've been using this on a fair number of streams. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post in the video comments or on the OBS forum thread. Uh, I will post the download link in the video description if you don't want to peer at the browser in this capture. Uh, besides that, thank you for watching, and I hope this is helpful to you.